we provide Devin with the tools that he needs to just keep going. And Rankin Jordan has given us those tools to take home um, to keep working with him. It's just another way I think that Rankin Jordan displays the whole family feel around here that everybody cares about everybody, no matter who you are. And there was a nurse that it was walking through the gym and I guess she had recognized me and she kind of looked at me and looked at this kid, you know, and looked back at me and she said, is that Devin Shelton? And I said, yeah. And she just started crying. And I said, what? And she said, I was on the other side and when you guys left here, I thought he had passed away. She was like, oh my God. And she's just bawling. You know, she's like, you're back. You know? If I had really deep pockets, I would write the biggest check to Rankin Jordan because of what Rankin Jordan has done for our family alone, let alone every child that's here. It's made such a change in our lives. I would, I would just pay that back and pay it forward to Rankin Jordan just to keep this facility running the way that it does now. It's amazing to see the difference of just the demeanor in the kids' faces from, you know, being bored in a bed to being able to do all this stuff. I saw children that were, you know, in a bed that really couldn't get out of bed to do things, but they were happy because whoever was working with that child had found a way for them to interact and do an activity or, you know, read a book or, or touch an iPad with the, with the stylus in their mouth, whatever the case be. One of the things that Rankin Jordan has kind of been for us is not only a bridge home, but a bridge back to a normal life um, to kind of show us how to enjoy life with a child with disabilities.